there is a difference between a reality, a simulation, and a simulacrum. Mm -hmm. The um, reality that we are talking about is something that fully emerges over a causally closed lowest layer. And the idea of physicalism is that we are in that layer, that basically our world emerges over that. Every alternative to physicalism is a simulation theory, which basically says that we are in some kind of simulation universe and the real world needs to be an apparent universe of that, where the actual causal structure is, right? Mm -hmm. And when you look at the ocean in your own mind, you are looking at a simulation that explains what you're going to see next. So and we are living in a simulation. Yes, but a simulation generated by our own brains. Yeah. And uh, this simulation is different from the physical reality because the causal structure that is being produced, what you are seeing, is different from the causal structure of physics. But consistent. Uh, hopefully. If not, then you are going to end up in some kind of institution where people will take care of you because your behavior will be inconsistent, right? Your uh, behavior needs to work in such a way that it's uh, interacting with a accurately predictive model of reality. And if your brain is unable to make your model of reality predictive, um, you will need help. So what, uh, what do you think about Donald Hoffman's argument that it doesn't have to be consistent, the dream world to the, the, the what he calls like the interface uh, to the actual physical reality where there could be evolution. I think he makes an evolutionary argument, which is like, it, it could be an evolutionary advantage to have the dream world drift away from physical reality. I think that only works if you have tenure. As long as you're still interacting <laughs> with the ground tools, your internal model needs to be somewhat predictive. <laughs> <laughs> tenure. Well, in some sense, humans have achieved a kind of tenure in the animal kingdom. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, and at some point we became too big to fail, so we became postmodernist. <laughs> it <laughs> it all makes sense the now. The version of reality that we like. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, yeah, but... Uh, Basically, you can do magic. You can change your assessment of reality, but eventually uh, reality is going to come bite you in the ass if it's not predictive. 